Okay, what sounds better, Carmelito or Carmelito? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to get this look right here on the eyes and on the face. I love the way this olive matte smoky eye turned out. I just wanna do this all the time. Every time I say that, I do it for like three more days and I'm on to the next look. I'm gonna break that down for you. I'm also gonna show you how I got this hairstyle right here. I was tired of the straight hair. I was tired of the waves. Like I needed full on different style, different look with short hair. It's really tight curls starting from the root. My mom's natural hair is like this. It's like super curly from the root all the way down. Thanks mom for the inspo. I needed something totally different and I just love how this looks. I know you guys will like it, especially if you have short hair and just need a new style. There's only so much I feel like you can do with short hair. This style is definitely something different that you'll love and this video is in partnership with Numi. So thank you Numi for partnering up with me because your products are bomb. I've been using them forever. I'm super excited to get into this. Before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the quad family. And without further ado, let's get in to this video. Okay, so brows are on the face. I wanted to cut down my time for this video since we're including hairstyle. I just did the brows, prime the face, and we're ready to go. So I'm gonna go straight into the eyes because I'm super duper excited about this palette that I'm using today. It's from a friend of mine on YouTube. Her name is Beauty Bird and the palette is the Dream Palette. Look how beautiful. This is so aesthetically pleasing. This is the Dream Palette from Sigma and Beauty Bird. The back has all of the shades and the names. This has actually been sitting on my marble table just blending in with everything. So it's perfect. You open it up and it's all rose gold. Super pretty. You get this big mirror and you have so many eyeshadows. How many? You have 18 shadows in two highlights. This is a lot of different looks in one palette. I already know what look I'm gonna do. I kind of been playing with it already for a while and I just, I know what I wanna do. So I'm really excited about it. It's gonna be more on the matte side. I'm still gonna have a highlight, but the eye is mainly going to be matte and I love matte looks for this time of the year. So I'm gonna first go into Boo Boo. So I'm taking that shade. I'm gonna run it through the crease. I love the names and how they're like associated with her life and what she says and like her personality. Now, Sigma to me already has a really great formula. She is our transition shade. This was Boo Boo. And now I'm gonna move into Carmelito right here. Some words, I just, I'm Hispanic and some words I have to say in an accent or I have to say it in Spanish because it doesn't feel right even though my my speaking like how I normally speak is there's no Spanish accent at all, but there's words that I cannot say in English. It just feels wrong if I say them in English, especially if I'm reading them. Okay, what sounds better, Carmelito or Carmelito? So I'm gonna take this guy right here and I'm gonna put this right on the crease, but this time I'm going down a little bit lower, going into the lid right on the edge right here. This time we're gonna take it out towards the brow bone, like really work it back there. So now I'm gonna go into Tacos and Chill. It's like a reddish brown. Tacos and Chill, that's life for me. That's like my favorite food. When I can eat all my favorite foods in one bite, yes, give that all to me. I'm gonna use the deepest, deepest brown in this palette. Woof, woof, right here, this brown. And we are gonna deepen up the crease by a hundred times and I'm putting it in a precise area. I go in like this just so that we get a good amount of product there. When I'm blending it out, then I push my hand back. So you'll notice when I move my hand back and forth like that. The darker shades you need to be careful with actually, these are way pigment. There's way more pigment. <laughs> Some shades are more like pigmented than others, I notice, but um, these dark shades are dark. So that's not a bad thing. You just need to use a little bit more caution. Now this eye is always the weird eye for me. Nothing ever blends out right on this eye. The folds are weird. No matter how much pressure I use or don't use, you're always gonna have that one eye that's just always playing games with you. But then this eye is perfect. She's, she's the bestie. All right, so we have that eye good and done. Now I'm gonna move into the color that I'm super duper excited about. This is 805. That is such a beautiful matte, intense olive green. 
and I cannot wait to put it all over my eyelids. So as soon as I saw it, I was like, I am using that olive green color all over the lid. I'm smoking it out. It's gonna be so beautiful. So I'm gonna take that on a flat brush. This is the Makeup Shack T53 brush and we're just gonna set it right on the lid. And I just have to say that I really, really love Beauty Bird. She is a sweet, sweet, genuine person. And every time I see her, beautiful energy, it's, she's easy to be around, she's easy, easy to talk to. I'm so proud of her. She works really hard. She loves her family. And I just have so much respect and love for, for Yasmin. Another note about these shadows, she put them in the right place. So when you go in here, you know that I used all of these as the crease. And look how well they just blend and mesh together. And then you come over here and these shadows work, you can tell these work really well together as well. This was a very well thought out palette. I wanna highlight the brow bone. As you can see, one brow bone is showing more than the other one. And that's just because my eyes are naturally just kind of off. I'm gonna blame it on my eyes. We are gonna use some concealer for that. I'm gonna take the Cover Effects Power Play Concealer right here. This is in the shade medium one. It's a really interesting, I've never actually used this before, but I'm gonna just put a little dot right there. This, I just warning you guys, I normally like to use something that's a, a thicker consistency than something for concealer under the brow bone, but this is what we're working with today. You can work with it, it just might not be as high coverage, but we're gonna do it anyways, here we go. I stopped breathing, I stopped doing everything <laughs> just to focus, so just FYI, if I pass out. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the lighter shade. This is Frenchy right here. So I'm gonna take Frenchy with the same brush. We're just gonna go in there and set that brow bone in place. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna mix Boo and Tacos and Chill together. Okay, my camera cut off. You guys didn't see this, but I picked up the green color again and I put it right on the outer corners of the lower lash line just to tie everything together. And the highlight that I'm using is this one right here. So I'm picking up Milagro with a Luxie brush. It's a 141 mini round brush, in case you guys are wondering. Right on the inner corners. Ooh, I like this color. It's more golden than what it looks like in the pan. I thought it was gonna be more like a pearl, like almost like an off-white gold kind of a look, or more of like a champagne, but this is more on the gold side, which is beautiful. It's like a really good mix between Conchita and Milagro. It's right in the middle from what it actually looks like in the pan. So this is so perfect. What I'm gonna do to the bottom is pick up a little bit of Boo Boo and then I'm gonna put it right in here just because I feel like we need to blend this out a little better. So the eyeshadow is pretty much done. And now I'm just gonna put on some lashes. I'm gonna skip on the liner today. I just really want it to be about the shadow. For the lashes, we are gonna use the Batty B Extra Lashes. It look like this. I had no idea that this was magnetic. Look. I had no idea, that is so cool. I really like the Batty B Lashes. They're like lashes. You want lashes, you got some lashes, kind of lashes. Measure these out with my other lashes and I'll be back with the lashes. Okay, so I just put on the lashes. Whoa, the look is finally coming together and I don't even have foundation on yet. So I'm gonna now put on a liner. I feel like this look definitely needs some liner. So I'm gonna take my favorite Esquito liner right here. This is the gel liner, it's super black. I'm just gonna line up the waterline. Okay, so waterline's lined up. I also lined the inner rim, like tight lined, actually going to the Osuna concert tonight. And I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I am super excited. I have been wanting to go to his concert forever. Thank you, Laura. She's taking us. Laura Mulatto, shout out to Laura's Boutique. She has the cutest clothes ever. We are using the Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. This is a really, really good foundation, you guys. I've talked about this before. Not a fan of the packaging, but I'm a fan of the formula. It's so good. Super nice, full coverage. Last all night long. Very, very happy with this. Just wish they'd put it in a different bottle. Somebody, anybody. All right, so now that we have the foundation on, I'm gonna put on some concealer. Perfect for dotting those Instagram videos. So look how precise that is, that is so cool. This is shade medium one. I really like this little dotting tool thing. Now I'm gonna do some contouring with the Flesh Stick. It's the shade 24, Dulce de Leche. 
And I feel like this is more of a bronzing shade for me. And yep, it sure is. So we're gonna bronze with this. This will be more of like a transition shade for us. Well, for me, <laughs> because this is too light. But it is a nice contour color. And I've never tried this brand before. I like the feeling of the stick. It's like a sticky kind of, not sticky, I just, I can't explain it, but it's just a really nice grip on the skin. Now we're going to set everything in place. So I'm gonna take my pressed powder right here in the shade light. For the bronzer, I'm gonna take the Lottie London Tan Time Bronzer. Super cute, it has little stars in there. I'm gonna add some blush now. So I'm gonna take the Ofra blush in the shade Punch. And I'm just gonna put a little bit right on the cheekbone. For contouring, I'm gonna do that off camera just cause I feel like this is gonna take forever. This video is gonna be so long. And if you watch my videos often, you know how I contour at this point. I even have a full video on contouring do's and don'ts if you wanna check that out too. So just in case you're a newbie here, you can definitely check out my contouring video and how I break it down. For the highlight, I am using the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter right here. And this is Molten Gold. I grab Subculture Lip Liner and just line up my lip. This is like a really soft, neutral kind of lip liner. I'm gonna take the Hank and Henry Liquid Lip right here in the shade Comadre. Hank and Henry's brand has a lot of Spanish-inspired names and I love that. I love when people just embrace their culture and I'm all about it. I've heard him talk about his brand for years before it came out. Finally, it's here and it's so beautiful. Like the packaging is so unique. But this is the final makeup look. I am very happy with the way it came out. I'm going to set it with some MAC Fix Plus really quick. So now for the hair tutorial portion of this. To get into this hair tutorial, I'm going to be using this set right here. This is the Numi Octa One set. So you get eight different barrels right here. This is detachable, so you can put in any size that you want. And the size that I wanna go for is something a little smaller. These two are the ones that I'm thinking of going for. I feel like this guy right here is going to do the whole entire hair for me the way I want. Go ahead and just use him. And how you put it together is you just line it up and you push it in and then you lock it by twisting it. You see where the locks are? And then you just twist it and bam, it's locked in. And this is a really tiny wand. This is probably the smallest wand I've ever used, but for the look, this is going to be perfect. So I'm gonna just press and hold the power button and it will turn on for you. And then it's just heating up. I'm putting it all the way on 450 because I really want to get through this hairstyle pretty quickly. And a good thing that this thing heats up super quick, it's already at 330 and I just turned it on. So it gets hot really, really quick. So I'm just gonna pick up half of my hair. Okay, so I just got these eye tip clip-ins. So if you see these guys, that's what it is, they're extensions. So I'm gonna start with these little baby hairs back here. I'm gonna show you a few strands of hair and then I'm just gonna do it really quick. So I just take it and work it back and going away from the face, hold it for like three seconds, not even three seconds. Some of my hair is shorter, some of it is longer. So I need to go in at different moments with it. Um, but you get this really tight, cute curl like that. And I'm just gonna do that all the way around the head. Even though I'm taking smaller pieces, this actually goes by so fast because it's so hot. You don't need to spend much time on curling it. As you can see, like two seconds, you're done next piece. So it's super quick and easy. And it also helps if you have very frizzy hair. Naturally, I do. This helps calm everything down, so. It's a good one. I've been using Numi forever since I started my YouTube channel and Numi began. That's how long I've been using Numi. It's just such a good product. Oh my God, I almost burned myself. By the way, you guys, it comes with a little glove, but I feel like I am a pro in my head that I don't need the glove, but I still burn myself. So um, if you wanna use the glove, it's if you're a first timer or if you burn yourself like me, then put it on. But if you're hard-headed like me, then you won't. <laughs> then I just finish these guys up really quick. Okay, so now I'm just taking the hair that I already curled and I'm clipping it in the back so it doesn't mix with some of these pieces. I kind of already did this side, then I put it back up because I had way too much hair to be honest with you guys. Pick up from where I started. So some pieces I'm wrapping around and facing it away from my face. And then I'm holding it there, letting it go, and it's going away from the face. 
and then for some other sections that we have. I'm gonna take it and wrap it around forward going towards my face just to give it some lift and volume in so that the curls aren't all going the same direction. Don't need to leave it there very long in order for you to get a curl. I really am loving that big voluminous hair. That is naturally how my mom's hair is and I'm kind of jealous that she has hair like that. She's always relaxing it, but her hair is so naturally beautiful. So same thing with this, just taking it, wrapping it around. And it also gets rid of any kind of frizziness that you have in your hair. It's just such a smooth, sleek, quick kind of hair look that you're gonna get out of these wands. I really like them. All right, so now that we have this hair on the bottom half, I'm just gonna comb through it. Whoa, that was a lot of curling. So you can either leave it like that and you're ready to go. I'm also gonna show you how I style it when it's halfway up, halfway down with this hairstyle, which is my favorite to do. Put it up in a messy ponytail, halfway ponytail. And this way you get some lift in your eye. I always like to have like a pretend facelift going on and you just tighten it up. I like messy hair that's not perfect. So this is the hair look. I'm gonna add a little bit of hairspray before this place. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more hair tutorials like this or just different styles, I got you. And if you have short hair problems, I got you because I'm tired of having straight hair and the big waves. Like I need something different in my life. So this is definitely the spice I needed. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want more, thumbs it up. And before you leave, if you haven't checked those videos out, check them out before you go. And before I leave you, I just want to remind you guys to say hello, say hi, give a smile to a stranger, make them feel better about their day. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and until the next video, bye dollies.